Anybody want to take the dispatch or find some of y'all? Can they have them over?
سی اے جان
You don't happen to have a pocket knife on you by chance, do you? No. Can we cut the twisty ties? Hey, please. I'm gonna take this off. That way I can let the camera rest for a while. There's four of them, so you might have to cut like at least four of them. The other tied. Unless you have a trick. Is it alright that I stand out here? Mm -hmm. We're just about to cross Lovato. Yeah, just hold on tight. Thanks, John. Yep. This is Rock Tunnel that we're in right now. It's going to be dark for a while. We don't have any lighting in here. So this is all the light you get from up there, and then we're in here, and then next one is Mud Tunnel. Huh? This one and the next one up ahead. Yep. There you go. Full season view of Toltec Gorge. Because the mountain right here was blasted with dynamite. Yep. This is all that made. U.S. Army did this for us, the military, when we were building this line. For their practice runs, would come out here and make holes for us. Now, mud tunnel is a whole different story. Okay, yep, the one that's made all out of mud with um, railroad ties holding it up. Really? Yep, because it's a support beam along the whole tunnel. You'll see it when we go through. Because the entrance even has the railroad ties on it. I think we're coming up. We should be coming up to it pretty soon. So the tunnels are real close to each other.
One thing you don't want to do is lose your phone out here because you cannot recover it. There's no road down through Toltec Gorge at all. Card number two, anyways. I filled up a whole SD card on the first card. Worth an hour worth of footage, yeah. All the way from Chama. I was recording all the way up to Lobato. And then I would do it between the pass and stuff. Does it record sound too? Yep. Well, my voice is on your. Who cares? It's fine. It's okay. Hey, I was talking the whole way up. Plus, it's in 4K, so who cares? I don't. Plus, this goes on to YouTube, so I'm not real worried about it. After it's done, I process it. So what I do is I upload it raw. I don't even edit it. I leave it as is. Yep. Because a lot of people said it's better unedited than edited. Which I've learned it's better. Careful of these trees. I believe it's coming up. Rock tunnel. Oh, that gorge. My tunnel. Yeah, it should be next. Because that one is not as dark as this one was. Probably see it when on your end when we make the curve. Yeah, yeah, it's still straight away. Yep. So it's on the long the straighter way or it's snowy. I think we have the curve and then my tunnel. It was right before um another like tanglefoot curve but we're going to go through whiplash curve so it should be coming up after that or unless
How far are we from my tunnel? My tunnel? Yeah. So I know we just went through rock tunnel. It's going to take about nine minutes, eight minutes. That's what um, I was wondering. About two miles. Yeah. Do you think 168 is out running today? Uh, no, but she was yesterday. I know she was out yesterday. Did you get pictures of her? I wasn't here. Oh, wait. How far did she go? Uh, 287 and a half. Yeah, I see, was I was in. The, I was on the curb. Oh, see, I was in Chama. I missed it. Oh, man. Now, they're not going to be running tomorrow or today, but they might tomorrow. Yeah. So, I don't think I'll be on the curb for that one. But, yeah. uh, yeah. if you can, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm off to Durango. Oh, that's Sadly. You buy your tickets already? I'm just going up to Railfan for the night. Oh, cool. But yeah, that was fun going through Rock Tunnel. Uh, yeah. I never been went through it before. Oh, you just did you? Uh... Track down below that we're going to be going on. We're going to do it too. Up ahead. There's Osher's down there. Thank you. 
doing the left race work. Chama, but I'm going all the way now. Oh, good. It's time for a change of scenery. If you're, if you're hanging out, and are you taking the bus back to Chama? Yep. Okay. I was say, if you're hanging out, you should slide me down. Because um, what time does the bus, what, what time are we due to get in? Five, I think. And the bus leaves, gets back to Chama at six. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah. So we don't even have much time to look around at Antonio, do we? Not really. I'd say if you if you hurry, the lighting will be real uh, will be real nice to get some shots of 168. And the rotary, because that's out. So they had to clean up the boat box to make sure that the uh, Yeah, for the rotary, yeah. Yeah, they could make sure that it was all ready for the inspector. So I guess we got that job. You I feel sorry for you. I thought it would take two hours. I thought it would take two or three hours at the most. Really? It took two days. Two days, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, we missed it earlier through the um, before we got to Osher. Two planes flew right through the canyon. Oh, cool. Yeah, we had two Air Force. Did you see what kind of planes they were? Or? They had four propellers on them. Oh, probably C-130s. C-130s, yeah, I yeah. think that's what it was. They test in here all the time. How are they able to fly through here with these? In a way. Um, they can't. Not really. No. I mean, they're just flying through the narrow canyons. Built 
they'll turn them on their side and fly a full that gorge. Now that is amazing to see. And how they navigate it to the other side oh, yeah. without crashing. Well, that's the whole, this is a whole training ground for them here. Yeah. For uh, Afghanistan, I believe. And Baghdad, yeah. The first time riding all the way through, huh? Welcome. Thank you. This is my home side here. Yeah. See, I'm at, my home side is Chama. Oh, cool. I'm in Albuquerque, so three hours away. Yeah. At least one good thing is, yesterday I was out pulling weeds. Mm -hmm. The cold triple track was so bad. Oh, my goodness. It's still worse. There's double the weeds that I pulled. Remember the fence? Yep. Oh, cool. How's it going? Good. How's it going? Fine. Oh, oh, Phantom Curve or yeah. something like that? Yeah. Where all that. The where all the derailments happened. Oh, no, that's a. Uh, that's a. Uh, oh, yeah, derailments out there to Phantom. Yeah, but, uh. The real thing was that Toltec, or the. What's that called? Calico cut. I get all the Calico cut, yeah. That has been given us pain for, uh, what, 130, 139 years now? Because of that cut? Sliding down on the front. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can see it. This one, too, here. Not as much. No. Whatever happened to those cars after the accident? I guess they were scrapped. Oh, they're still coming. Huh? The uh, sheep cars? Were they sheep cars or passenger cars? Uh, which accident were you talking about? Because there were two that happened. The one that happened at Phantom Curve was the one train that was at night coming through. Uh, the um, the head-on? 169 and 411? Yeah. Uh, 169 is actually an Alamosa. I know it's an Alamosa. Uh, so they pulled that one out, but I'm pretty sure they took the torch to 411. Yeah, because um, 411 is no more. They yeah. said it's not even anymore. I'm pretty sure they just busted up and people run it. it. Wasn't that an express train or something? Express and a freight head on. I wonder what ever happened to the express cars. If they're uh, still down where they are. If uh, There's still freight car bodies down there. It wasn't here, it was actually probably a little further that way. Yeah. Uh, it, was just, it, was, it was between Rock Tunnel and uh, California. I wonder if you guys are ever going to bring those spray cars up from down there. Uh, probably not. Do you think they're still in good condition even? No. I mean, we've got... That we've got better condition freight cars that need restoration here yeah. in the yards. True. Yeah. Would it be worth displaying them at least? Maybe. See, I think that would be. A, I think that would be more of a like a, one of the joint um, projects with the friends. To get yeah. The friends but how would we get down there exactly to go get them? Now there's the real thing. <laughs> you can't go from Osher out there, or could you? I think you could run a, I think you could run a, um, a flat with a crane, bolt it onto it. You know that, uh, you know that, uh, work, that work crane that they have, uh, an old diesel work crane from the, um, they used to do a shop up in the restoration shed if you ever get a chance to take a look at it. Yeah. But, uh, I'll mention that would probably be, turn it up on this side, pull it over to Antonito, put them up there. Yeah. But I don't think it'll happen for another 20 years if, if they still at all. last this long. There we go. They're probably in worse condition than we thought. Oh, you're Phantom Curve. Phantom Curve. Big, uh, big oh, dangerous yeah. zone. Oh, Phantom Curve's actually been pretty good to us. You got lucky. Yeah. All this rock likes to stay where it is. Yeah. I'm going to take a quick picture and then I'll get out of your way. Yeah. 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 Beautiful country, you know? It's God's country. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. That's one of our that little uh, summer cabin. Wait, where? That little flat spot. I'd love to put a little summer cabin right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Good luck with that. Now, where do you live? Do you live in Antonito? Or do you live in Antonito. Yeah. And you do this all summer long? All summer long, then I go back to Dallas. Going to school out there? Or? Nah, it's just that where I'm, just where I live right now. Oh, okay. I'm from Houston, Texas. But I'll probably be moving somewhere out west after this. Oh, really? Yeah. How far out west do you want to go? No, not yet. I might even move up to New England somewhere. It all depends. My wife's still in school. She's on her last semester of her neuroscience degree. So we're looking at grad school for her right now. Not bad. So it depends on where. Yeah, it does. It also depends on the money. Yeah. <laughs> Who will pay her? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. Where's the fisher at? Almost to 80 pounds of pressure. What's up? We're almost to 80 pounds of pressure on the brakes. Back up. Huh? Filling them back up. Yep. And it was at 90 when we got up here. Oh, sir. When I did the running brake test. Huh? You did the running brake test, check it all. Yep. This isn't the side you have to worry too much about. Anyway. Yep. See here, RGS 20 is back at um, Colorado Urban Museum. Oh, really? He's back. Oh, nice. They're finishing up the rest of the work there. And they did a steam up test on her. Ooh. She can run under her own power. She's nice. certified at 120 psi. That's what she's certified at. That's not bad. No, and but she's coming here. We actually have plans. Yeah. I well, she's that. not completely finished yet. They don't have the cab on her yet. There's still other things to put on her, but yeah. How long she been? How long she been underway? I, I could say many months. Strasburg had her for a while. Strasburg, you said? Strasburg did the full main boiler work. Ah, uh, Strasburg was good on that. Yeah. I should have sent her here. I guess we would have need more staff, but we're hoping to one of these days be off like that for the, especially for the narrow gauge stuff. Yeah. Pretty cool. We must be coming up to something for them to be whistling. Stand right here. Huh? Stand right here and we stop going into the tunnel. Oh, that's right. My tunnel. Yep. Okay. Huh? Yep, my post 311. I'm going after RGS 41 and not Terry Farm. They never run that engine anymore. You want to buy it? Uh, I'm actually uh, trying to acquire it. DNF shop crew own it. Really? Yeah, their old timers that used to that still work at Drango own RGS 41. So they're just loading it basically, I mean basically it's a static model over there. It runs. Oh, it does run. Yeah. But I want to get it out of there and turn it back to coal. Even an oil burn. Wow. It shouldn't be too hard to turn it back to oil. The only, oil coal. The only locomotives that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as. Huh? The only engines that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as. I don't like what they're doing with their uh, K37 over there at the DNS. Well, they have to do that lawsuit. Right in the fire. Oh yeah, here comes my pedal. Yeah. They said DNS started it. Yeah, they did. Yep. For sure. Oh yeah, mud tunnel. This yeah. is the shortest one. Yeah. Out of rock tunnel. I read all the FRA reports on the, on the DNS fire. And? You know, I gotta actually say I agree with the FRA on the DNS. I do too. Well, um, it came down to their fire patrol. Yeah. They weren't they weren't adequately prepared, they weren't adequately trained. Exactly. We take our fire control. Seriously, yeah. And you know, 
know, for years and years, people are like, why are we doing this? All this why are we doing it? All this stuff. Uh, yep, all this life. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to get up. Yep. That's why they're turning 497 down the oil burner. 18th crew still there.
pulling it to the Antonino, end of the line. Four ninety four uh, or four ninety five.
pitch to see what we do this curve. Oh. This is Be careful up there. 